Hello, people from all around the world. We're back and fished in, and we are at the hawk shop. We're going to pawn a few items while we're here to make some fast coin. Get rid of it, get rid of it, and free up our inventory at the same time. Pretty easy to do. Not many people use the pawn shop. You can also shop there, by the way. We can see what he's selling right now. Sometimes he sells, yeah, SUV Dash. I'm going to actually buy that. Something people don't really check very often, but you can definitely get your parts a lot cheaper if you can find them here at the pawn shop. As you guys know, we've been very busy working on the new demo for Yard Sales Simulator, and it's going to be out in less than two weeks, so make sure you got it on your uh, wish list on Steam. That's Yard Sales Simulator. Yard Sale, two words. All right. We'll get this dash. Oh, oh, oh. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> Got it. Woo. Got to get that furniture while you can. And we do have an SUV now, and it doesn't have all the right parts, but we can start putting them in. I see this SUV dash. I know that's something you don't usually see on the street, so you got to grab it while you can. And we could sell all our vehicles to try to make that money up a little faster to try to get to... Um, um, our goal of 90k, which I think we're at like 56k or 60k, somewhere around there. But we're just going to take our time and do it the right way. We'll find some cars maybe. We'll have a look and see what's out there anyways while we're here. We're going to keep the video short today because I do have some stuff to do. And I probably will be coming out with a couple shorts later. If you do have the time, please take the time to thumbs up this video. Every thumbs up makes a difference. It helps us get a word out there about Fishton and help other people find our videos. So if you've taken the time to do it, I appreciate it. So we'll go check our regular spots and see if there's any car spawns today. We could cut up Rusty's car, but we'll let him be for now. And yeah, less than two weeks to go on the, on the demo for Yard Sale Simulator, so we're pretty excited about that. Most of our time has been focused on that. We haven't came out with any updates for Fishton lately. But please keep in mind that we were going to we are going to get back to Fishton. We just need to finish some stuff up. I know there's a few people out there that are a little bit frustrated with the lack of updates because we're always full of weekly updates usually. But you just got to understand we're just super busy right now. Take it a couple minutes to enjoy my favorite game, Fishton Town to Remember. If you don't have it, go pick it up. You need this game. If you like automobiles and you like building cars. You're, you're out of your goddamn mind if you don't have this game. So there was no cars on that side. So we'll check over here in our other spots. See what we got, but it's not looking good. It's looking like we got no car spawns. All right, well, that is what it is. Maybe we'll hit up some recycling. We're going to keep it short today anyways. We need to pick up a new trailer soon, and we'll do some logging again, because that was a good cash crop, but we need to only do it once in a while. If you're always logging, there's not a lot available. Uh, we can grab a couple parts in here and throw them in a recycler like always, maybe while we're around here. We're going to wait to go grab our camper money. I know that's building up, but we're going to wait till it's a little bit more. Ooh, a free beer. We get that on our shelf. And that's something we could do for profit in the meantime, too, is go back to running our store for a bit. Because it's always a steady income while we're waiting for other opportunities to open up in Fishton. And luckily, there's lots of opportunities. I'm not going to go work for the day because I feel like I can make more money owning the store and running it for the day so we're gonna go do that but remember if you don't own the store if you don't own any businesses you can work for the pizza delivery if you have your license or the diner if you don't have your license you just have to collect dishes for the diner it's pretty easy but remember there's lots of jobs and lots of ways to make money in fish and it's kind of up to you how you want to do it I'm choosing to do it this way because I like running the store. Something I personally always really liked. And I'm not exactly sure why, but I just like it. Just It's my store, you know? I don't know. I don't know how to explain that one, but it is what it is. Eh, we're going to need some chips soon. It looks like the chips are selling pretty quick. We're out of pops. We don't got any fill-ups for that. So we're going to have to wait for the guy to come in. Hit those up. Um, What else? Carrot soup? I don't think I have any carrot soup. I'm going to go check, but... I usually keep all my supplies out here for the store. Oh, we do have pop. We do have chips, too. 
There we go. What the heck is that? Tomatoes? All right. Carrots. So we can can up some more soups while we're working at the store here. Might as well. But of course, you have to cook them before. So. Oh, got customers coming in. I do that. I just stack them up at four or five tall and then I collect them all. And then we move over to the canner when we're done. Alright, let's make sure our customer didn't need us there. Cook some of these. Get them all canned up. Alright, I can throw these in there. I have some happy customers at our store. Our beer shelf's a little empty. Not that one isn't. This one is. Get all those beers in you, customers. I love that beer. Is this thing still open? Did I shut it or something? What's, what's going on with my customer? Oh, there we go. There they come. Alright, and to the canner, it looks like. Canner soup. Oh, it looks like we did have... Oh, that's canned meat. Nama, nama, nama. And as you know, our customers can't get enough of this. Well, I don't know why, but they buy a lot of it anyways. Canned tomatoes seem to be pretty popular as well. Take that one. There goes RoboKit, and I just seen him. Freaking Kit 10, sorry, that's his name. See him at the door, what are you doing? Trying to get in the fish tank, you little rascal. I'm telling you guys, he's a little rapscallion. needed. All right. Cook some more cans. Can some more foods. When we get our shelves fixed up after that. Well, that should be all our canned vegetables. Anyways, we're going to have to pick up some more seeds for we can pick up some more products to make. All right. Let's see, what are you? Carrot soup. Yep. You gotta make sure you're on the right shelf because if you're not and you right click it, it's actually just gonna eat the can of soup and you don't want that. Sell it to the customers. There we go. Pretty stocked, oh, get our chips stocked up too. Pretty stocked up now anyways. Some more customers coming in. The more you're stocked up, the more you're going to sell, the more they're going to see for sale, and they're going to be able to buy more things at once, so you're just going to make a bit more money a little bit faster. And they do call you to the counter, but besides that, you can kind of just stand here and passively run your whole gas bar. Look, it's queen fish. So pretty. Ooh. Robo... Ah, kitten. Stop standing outside, scared. Like, I literally can't leave. Get out of the way. <laughs> Get out of the way. Look out. <laughs> there he goes. He's such a rascal. Yeah, give me your money. And as you can see, we're over 500 bucks now. It's going to take a little bit because we're not flipping cars. Flipping cars is obviously a lot faster to make some coin off of, but we're making good money. So I'm probably going to keep this video short today because I am limited on time a little bit, but we will try to pump out a couple shorts later, probably one for this game and then probably one for Yard Sale Simulator. Remember to thumbs up these videos, they really do does make a difference and really does help us and we appreciate all you people who have taken the time to help us. We are husband and wife, that's it, we don't have a marketing team, we don't have a marketing budget, we're just trying to make our dreams come true and we appreciate every one of you guys who helps us in every way that you do. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll be back probably in a couple of days when we're closer to the launch of the demo. Keep keep your ears open and make sure you got it on your wish list for you can know the very day it gets out and let us know what you think of the new game. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.